Ho ho, my hearties, a very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure. It's just 7.22 in the morning, the morning of Monday, the 2nd of May, 90, 2022. I nearly said 1922 there. Ah, 100 years uh, before it actually is. No, no, 2022, and it's the 2nd of me. It's Monday. So a very, very good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us. As I say, it's only 22 minutes past seven. So it's quite early in the morning. And it's also a bank holiday in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There's Liam. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Dinky do. Good morning. And there's Sana says good morning. And a wee kiss. Good morning to you, Sana. Lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys, because this is the big one. Never scroll and never troll. Once you've found Scotty McClure, you are home and dry. Lovely to have you with us. There's Leo joining us, user 6318. Good morning. Lovely to have you all with us. And a very, very warm welcome to our early morning pop-up. This is what we call the red eye. And we come on and we have a good old chat. Uh, there's uh, Mr. McCock. Uh, can you give me a shout out, please? It's my rap name. So there we are, Mr. McCockish. No problem at all. Dinky do and rap rap, rapity rap. You're a rapping chap. I do not rap as a rule because I am nobody's fool. Uh, fantastic. Good morning, chap. Good morning, Jake. How nice to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome and a big dinky do, I say to you as well. Fantastic stuff. Uh, what do you make of the kerfuffle at the end of the game yesterday, bottle throwing? Yeah, they need to put a stop to that. I think what we need to do is ban Rangers and Celtic altogether. Just put an end to it. Scrap them. I mean, not ban, but just scrap them. And have one team called Glasgow United. And I've done a TikTok video to that effect. So please have a look at it. Follow me as soon as you come on, guys. Good afternoon, Mike, from Melbourne in Australia. It's 5 p.m. Good afternoon to you. Lovely to have you with us, I say, Mitchell, from uh, Melbourne in Australia. I'd love to come to Melbourne. I believe it's very, very beautiful. So we need to put a stop to all of this, and the bad people need to know that they are the ones that have caused the end of Celtic and Rangers because they can't behave. So that's what I would say would be a great way ahead. Hey, buddy, Nevada Blues, good morning. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful co-brandist. Cool Lovely to have you with us, Go Brandist. And a very good morning to you. Never scroll, never troll. Once you've found Scotty McClure, get following. Combining Celtic and Rangers, mental. Jake, yeah, it's a big ask, but we can do it. Anything we put our minds to, we can do. There we are. You don't scare me, Boyle. I would hope not, Boyle. We don't scare anyone, Boyle. Okay, Boyle. There we go. Lovely to have you all with us, Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Kingo Finkland, don't be silly. Right, lovely to have everybody with us. And Dinky Do, who we got? The English are here. Kingo Finko, lovely to have the English with us, of course. And a big Dinky Do from Scotty McClure. Never scroll once you've found Scotty McClure. You have arrived. TikTok's top talk show. Funny boy, oh, a very funny boy. I tell you, boy, you, you haven't seen a half of it yet. Boyo, uh, follow us as soon as you can. There we are. There's Boyo following us. Uh, Liam Dinky Do. There's Bo Taylor. Dinky Do, Bo. Nice to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue. Early in the morning, long time no Caesar. Vanilla Fire. How lovely to have you with us. We drink tea in, uh, in English, and it's almost as good as whiskey. I think it's better. I don't drink whiskey. I drink tea. Here's my tea for this morning. The mug is bigger than my head. And that's saying something, isn't it? Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's absolutely lush. Good morning to you, sir, from Northern Ireland. Morning from the snake. Snakey, how are you, Roy boy? How good to have you with us from Snakey. Morning, sir, from Northern Ireland, says Comic Lad. Comic Lad. We love having you with us from Northern Ireland. There we are. A nice cup of green tea at the moment. Ah, Phil Boy, the green tea from Phil Boy. It's been a while since I've been on Nevada Blues. It's been far too long. Don't you leave it so long next time. I can tell you. Gulping is the way of future all tea drinkers should gulp. 
Well, I don't gulp. I just have a gentle sip, a gentleman's sip. There we are. That's what I do. S-I-P. We also have, of course, a good dole of Scottish water here, uh, just in case we fancy a gulp of that. Uh, fantastic. Followed us. Thank you, do vlog. Thank you for following. Tremendous stuff. Get following every day. As soon as you see Scotty McClure, go for it. Early one the day. Well, Daza, I thought, why not? We'll probably pop up later and do a phone in and see what's what. And the YouTube channel, of course, get on to that. Have you walked the West Highland Way? Uh, I haven't. No. What kind of way is it? Is it an interesting way to walk? Is it a funny way to walk? <laughs> This is the West Highland way. That's how we walk. <laughs> Are you married, Scotty? Oh, Benjamin, don't be silly. Who would have me? Uh, I have been having adventures and chasing wild women. Ah, Nevada Blues, excellent stuff. Well, wild women like being chased by a wild man. So, you know, you'll be, uh, you'll be doing very well there. I have no doubt. Matty has just joined us, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And Vanilla Fire, Rugby Funk. How good that you've all joined us this Monday morning. 7.28, everybody will be getting out to work soon. <coughs> Co Brandis. I've sold the Austin 7, Scotty. I got an offer I couldn't refuse. Now looking for my next project. Any ideas? What about something more recent, a Morris Minor, perhaps, I, I don't know, a Rover P4, that sort of thing. I don't know. Uh, now, the Austin 7, did you get between five and 7,000 for it? Yes. Well, how's that for a price? Uh, uh, now, there's user 314. Now, user 314, see this, you like beans. I've sent people down the Swanee for this. Now, what I would say to you is you're on TikTok's top talk show. Try and think of something intelligent to talk about and see how you go. All right. We might, might not be as yet the biggest platform on TikTok, but we are certainly one of the most intelligent. So to come on here and say it, you're like beans, you're wasting your opportunity. See if you can raise your game. That's what I would say to you. Right, there we are. Who else have we got here? Uh, Nevada Blues, I always chase wild women. It's more fun when they start chasing you. Uh, <laughs> and he says, or an emu to rise. Have you been chased by an emu? Lol, says Nevada Blues. TikTok, stop, talk show, absolutely king of England. King of England. Yes. Finkland, I like that. I stay in England. <laughs> How wonderful is that? We're going to have to dash quite soon. It's 7.30. Everybody will be getting ready for work, getting into the shower. Now, guys, can you watch every single TikTok video? Every single one. I'm the UK's most tattooed man. At King of England, I was going to ask, would you trust somebody with a tattoo? Well, maybe ask that later. Follow us as, as soon as you can. Dink you do, I say. I've been chased by a wild rooster. Oh, Nevada Blues, they can chase you. I've been chased by a goose once. Ah! Uh, uh, there, there you have to go some. Uh, walking my dog and still watching, mid-walking my dog. Bread is the best. This is wonderful. You're very clever. There are great ways to see Scotty McClure. And, of course, walking the dog is an excellent one. We'll probably be popping up later anyway. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Tristan. And lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you. 7.31, guys, into the shower with you. If you're going out to work, if you're in Australia, then put your feet up. Uh, it'll be bedtime soon. Hi, all the way from South Africa with love and peace, Jonathan. We love hearing from you in South Africa. Are you having a breakfast bray? That's what we want to know. Do tell. Very, very important. Now then, there's Ken. Ken, Ken, absolutely Ken. Are you free five, Ken? Uh, pack on the map. USA, 1.31 a.m. Vanilla. It's time you beautiful people of the USA got to sleep. There are, you need to have an SNP on the show and ask them 
why they are anti-union. Well, you'd never, ever, ever have to ask anybody why they're anti-union. Everybody's anti-union. They just don't have the courage to break away. There is no case for the union because there never has been. It was a con 314 years ago. South Africa, 8.30 a.m. Good morning, South Africa. Dinky do, we say to you, everybody in South Africa, in the Cape, in the Eastern Cape, in Joburg, fantastic, in uh, Cape Town, in Natal, in uh, Megasfontein, in, um, where else can we have you there? Fantastic. Uh, lots and lots of beautiful parts. Grahamstown. Good morning, Grahamstown. Uh, can you say good morning to my wife, Kelly? I can, Joseph. Thoughts on the Queen. The Queen has been an outstanding public servant for well over 70 years. She's been the Queen for 70 years. Even before that, she gave great service to the country. And we salute Her Majesty the Queen. And we say, God save her. She's not terribly well at the moment, but she was 96 last week. And if you check the TikTok videos, you'll see we wished her a very happy birthday. So that's rather good. You know, most of our country, Jonathan, I love your beautiful country. I've never been. I just love you people. I just think it's incredible. South Africa, fantastic. And of course, I was a great fan of Nelson Mandela. You know, there you are. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Wonderful stuff. So lovely to have you with us. Thoughts on Scottish independence? I'm not too bothered about independence because I'm apolitical. But what I would suggest is Scotland could do very well on its own economically. And I think we should have a system where we're still part of the union, but Scotland keeps every single penny of its own income for reinvestment in the Scottish economy, seriously, seriously, seriously damaged by various conservative governments over the last 60 years, probably starting with Beeching's railway cuts, and then Margaret Thatcher closing just about every piece of heavy industry. The shipyards, the steelworks, the, um, the coal mines, all that sort of thing. So Scotland, very, very rich in all sorts of things, wind and wave power, but it needs to keep every penny of its own income and start building up the Scottish economy uh, attracting big industry to places like Paisley, Kilmarnock, Greenock, Stirling, Dundee, Edinburgh, Glasgow, all that stuff. There we are. Nevada water levels are dropping. I know I've heard that. Yes, indeed. And um, yes, are, 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 you not, are you not out at the old, um, what's, what's the big place that everybody goes to go on the fruit machines? Yes, indeed. Las Vegas. Uh, I'm asking because I genuinely don't know how much does Scotland get from Westminster. Scotland gets virtually nothing from Westminster. It gets its own money back. Scotland gives Westminster £75 billion pounds plus and has it given billions and billions and billions over the last 60 years with the oil industry, the gas industry, Whiskey, food, that all gets labelled UK when it's actually Scottish. So Scotland gives England around 75 billion, and England gives Scotland its pocket money back uh, it, as 29 billion. So it's a great con. So Westminster's con Scotland for 314 years. So there we are. That's what's going on there. Money's worthless. It's just paper. It's not a concept. Leroy? You're actually very correct. Uh, very good point. Las Vegas, that's the one. The big man, Grace Cell. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. I'm in northern Nevada. Uh, we're getting good moisture. Ah, Nevada Blues, bless you. And uh, there we are. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you. Wonderful. The Crescent Moon. I say, follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Lots and lots happening on here. 
Uh, tap, 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 to let people know we are on. I think that's important. What about your thoughts on the new digital currencies Sunak wants to bring out? Yes, I worry about things like that because what they're trying to do, every government's doing it. It's not just the British government. What they're trying to do is get everybody absolutely under the old thumb so that they know everything you do. So it's gathering data. It's gathering information. Now, already, most governments will know what you're doing through your computers, your mobile phone, your internet, etc., etc., etc. So if anybody's interested, they could find out. But most of us lead very simple lives, and most of us are on the level. So, uh, you know, from that point of view, it might help to trace the crims. You know, that would be a good one. But for ordinary people, you know, digital currency, it, it doesn't give you enough control. You need to have the odd fiver or tenner to go to the shops. Uh, that sort of idea. It's biblical. Of course, it's biblical vanilla. It's all in the Bible. Dinky do, Scotty. Lanel. How lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do to you guys. It's 7.38. If you're dashing out, please don't get so involved with McClue's pop-up that you're late. You know what I'm saying to you? They already have us under the thumb, Scotty. Well, they always have co brandists You know, I mean, I think that's what it's all about. As soon as you're born, you are a serf. Fantastic. Mark of the Beast, absolutely vanilla. Yes, you'll get on there and have a look at uh, what else have we got? Uh, Leviticus is quite a good one. Well, lots of chat there. Uh, good morning, Scotty McClure. I arrived safe to Poland yesterday on the way to Ukraine. Well, come in. God bless you and take great care of your dear self because it's pretty wild there at the moment, I'm led to believe. Uh, in a couple of hours, says come in. Uh, so there we are. There's Taffy Jock, Bible equals toilet paper. Well, Taffy Jock, I think you must be the most ignorant person I've ever heard of in my whole life. And I've seen some ignorant people and a lot of very fine, clever people. But to make a comment like that, Bible equals toilet paper, I'm afraid you're very lost and very confused, and I can only send you deep, deep sympathy and uh, hope that you don't have too dreadful a life. Uh, we work for something they can create an unlimited amount of slavery. It's far from over. Oh, no, slavery's just moved. It's not been abolished. And when they did abolish slavery in the 1800s, the poor slaves, a lot of them died in complete and utter poverty. But they were no longer employed and no longer had any food. And a lot of landowners treated their slaves extremely well because they wanted to get all the work out of them. It was just the concept of being run by another human being. But that's far from dead in the water, I can assure you. So there you have it. Scotty McClure, in my spare time, I've built you a shrine. Triggs, how lovely of you. Thank you very much. Well, we need the whole world to come to McClure's shrine, McClure's grotto. <laughs> and we can have a good old chit-chat. But the Bible is a wonderful code for living and an excellent piece of scholarly work, guys, because, let's have it straight, it's the word of God. You know, and you can't beat that, can you? Scotty McClure, thank you, do. As long as I can fish, I'm happy. Nevada Blues, absolutely. Nice bit of fresh fish. Plenty of toilet paper, though. Yes, Taffy Jock, you've got plenty of toilet paper. You get reading your Bible and come back to me when you've read every word and understood every word. Knowledge and understanding. Start with the Bible and move on to Shakespeare, all that stuff. Watch Scotty McClure. Hi, Scotty. Do you like Julio Iglesias? Of course I do, Stevie. Fantastic singer. Scotty, thank you, dear. Yes, I'm not the adult with an imaginary friend. Taffy Jock, you have got an imaginary. All your friends are imaginary. Because if you've never read the Bible, you will be of very little interest to anyone. So anybody you count as a friend, Taffy Jock, will be imaginary. They don't exist. <laughs> 
Why do you think the world got here? If uh, our friend is imaginary, are you imagining the world as well? The holy books are all about astrology when you decipher the scriptures. Well, yes, real, of course, but they've been owned by various great religions. There we are. Uh, now, what have we got here? What are we talking about, Cameron? We talking about everything because we watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok. Fantastic. And that's a gift to the world. Port and Handel. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So there we go. Okay, Cameron 578. Vanilla Fire has just joined us. A very good morning. If you've all just joined us, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure Live. Just for you, dinky do. Tremendous stuff. Uh, so we're talking about lots and lots of things on here. I can tell you. Now, um, oh my goodness, I've been up for half an hour. Time to go soon. Uh, just been a privilege being with you guys. Always a privilege, never a chore. Thank you for my 1,200 likes. Now, big favor, make sure you've followed me and uh, actually watch every single TikTok video of Scotty McClure's. Like it and share it, please. Uh, so you believe in zombies, magic, and multiplying fish and bread. Well, Taffy Jock, the parables, I believe in all of the parables because they are exemplary. If you are with a huge crowd and some people hadn't bought lunch and you started sharing your lunch, if everybody did the same, it wouldn't be long till everyone was fed. So the five loaves and the two fishes make complete sense. I have lived my own whole life spreading information, education, and entertainment factually. And I see myself as somebody in the parable of the sower and the seed. Now, some seed falls on good ground and grows and flourishes in life. Some seed falls on stony ground. So you would be stony ground, and the seed withers and dies in ignorance, you see? So there we have it. So that's the way I would look at that there. But it's not too late for you to repent and start thinking. Are you ex-forces, Scotty McClure? Well, come in. We don't go into that on here, do we? Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Here, here, says Vanilla Fire. So there you are. So I can tell you there are no zombies, no magic, just God, Jesus Christ, the parables, the prophet Muhammad, Judaism, Sikhism, Hinduism, the world's great religions. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, Eid Mabaruk. Uh, now, who we got here? Can you believe in God without believing what man says about God? Well, what does man say about God? You know, let's have more of it. Do you know Peter Price, uh, X Radio City in Liverpool? I know Peter very, very well indeed. Pete Price, hello. Uh, lovely man. Uh, great guy. Love him and know him very, very well indeed. What with Peter? What a privilege. Ignorance, a uh, funny way to spell, not deluded. Taffy Jock, deluded's a word you use when you don't understand what the other person's going on about. It's like when I come out with real good quality stuff, people go, have you been on the drugs? <laughs> Why are you smoking? <laughs> because they don't know how to respond. You're struggling with a proper, intelligent, qualified, well-understood response. So that's why you use deluded. The next thing you would try once you got to the bottom of your barrel, which you're pretty near, would be to start talking about Nazis. That's when somebody's really lost their argument. Yeah? Okay? So uh, no problem at all. You use deluded as much as you like, but it's one that somebody always uses when they believe They've totally lost their argument. So I would say to you that you believe, Taffy Jock, you've lost your argument. And that's why you're coming out with words like deluded. Uh, why don't you come out with what am I smoking? All that stuff.
There we are, Bronze Age myths. And while Taffy Jock, no, pre-Bronze Age, you go back a lot, Bronze Age would be about 7,500 years ago. This is much before then, dear boy. Uh, Friday night, Collins with Pete Price and legendary called Brandis. Absolutely, and do you not remember when Scotty McClure was on Radio City? They were legendary as well. There we are. Uh, now, come in. I don't think you've got that correct there, to be honest with you. Uh, go on, let's hear how God created the night on the fourth day. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, Taffy Jock, you ha, 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 as much as you like. Empty vessels make a lot of noise and carry on. Ha, 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 ha. But what I would urge you to do is start to learn it and understand it. You see, build up your knowledge and then you can come on and ha, 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 ha. Because you see, I know every single bit of this. So when you are at prof professorial level in divinity and when you have a full knowledge uh, biblical knowledge, ecclesiastical knowledge, uh, knowledge of all the world's great faiths. Then you come on and ha ha ha, and we can all ha ha ha, ha with you because you'll be able to justify it. So Taffy Jock, or oh, you can't answer. You can't answer. I can always answer. All right, Capish, wonderful. Answer the question. I've just answered it. Uh, I'll admit you can't. No, I can answer any questions, Taffy Joe. I've just told you. You're the one wandering in the wilderness. You're the one who's a seeker. You're on here because you're looking for knowledge and information and education. And you can't give me the answers. So if you don't believe in God, describe to me right now exactly in detail what you don't believe in. And I'll be interested. Uh, I'll prove you're a mighty God wrong. No, you haven't, Taffy Jock. Uh, you say people are ignorant for not reading the Bible. Telling people to read it is ignorant. No, use a 314. Asking people to ignorant, not telling them anything. Asking people to read the Bible, not reading the Bible, would be ignorant. There you have it. Once you've read it, then you can comment. So come on, Taffy Jock. Give us some answers, boy. Boy, oh, fantastic. Now, there's George Dinky Do, Sonny Singh Dinky Do. Why should I read it? Well, why not? <laughs> silly man. <laughs> what a silly thing to ask. Why should I read it? Why should you read any books? There we are, to build your knowledge and understanding. That's what it's all about. Jimmy's just joined us. Fantastic. Guys, uh, we've only got another few minutes. What a blast it's been this morning. I can't tell you. Because I'm not religious. You don't have to be religious to read the Bible. You don't have to be Scotty McClure's biggest fan to watch him on TikTok. You know what I mean? The holy books were written by those who control the realm on earth. Uh, well, that might be God. Would you rather be controlled by God or the devil? You have a choice. Good has to triumph over evil. And right now in the world, that's quite a choice. I respect people's beliefs, so there we are. But Christopher Hitchens and Richard Dawkins make compelling arguments. Yes, but they fall down in their leap of faith. There we are. So you can't answer a simple question. So there we are. Taffy Jock, ask me the simple question. And remember, it's not my toilet paper. It's yours. All right. Uh, I'm not religious. I still have read the Bible. Of course, everybody should read it. Dinky do. Just became a top viewer. Cannabis. Thank you for your lovely gift of weights. And to all TikTokers, thank you for your lovely gifts. There we are. Roar. Fantastic. Crazy dino roar. Uh, night of the fourth day. Come on, Taffy Jock, you come on. Come and tell me once you've read the background to it. You're talking at the moment from a point of ignorance, so you're wasting everyone's time, including your own. I don't mind. I've, I've met idiots before. Uh, now, who have we got here? Does the Bible talk about beans? The Bible talks about everything. Crops, famine, locusts, the lot. Uh, so there you are. So there's your beans. What do you mean you can't answer, Taffy Jock? We've answered you. You've been answered a million times. So there we have it. And you're still in ignorance. How wonderful is that? Now then, uh, what do we got? Uh, 
Thank you, Kimen. Yes, everyone's belief. We have to respect everyone's belief, or we can't expect people to respect ours. Fantastic. That's what it's about. Uh, now then, uh, Martin's just joined us, Dinky Doo. And who else have we got? Alfie. Welcome, Alfie. Lovely to have you with us. And a big Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. A very good morning to you. So lovely to have everybody with us this morning. Craig has joined us. Scotty McClure, the definition of patience this morning. Well, Cobrandus, yes. I think we cannot expect people to learn if we have a short fuse, you see. So I think Job, Job in the Bible, he had patience. There we are, fantastic. Everyone's saying Taffy Talk's funny. Uh, so wonderful. The secret is to become a master of energies. Absolutely real anonymous. Now you're talking. Control your energies. And you control the world. Tremendous stuff. Uh, and look out for the devil. Yes, because the devil's work is never done. God's work is never done. Fantastic. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Statis has joined us. Welcome, welcome. So lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. Yes, hashtag Floatai. Hello, hello, Terry. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Welcome, welcome, I say. Guys, it's seven minutes to eight on a bank holiday Monday in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And hello. Thank you for joining us. You're very, very welcome. Uh, come and give us a bit of chat. Join in the debate this morning. We're talking about all sorts of things, and I know you didn't join them. Once you've found Scotty McClue, TikTok's top talk show, never scroll and never troll. Davy Jock, explain your reasoning behind your religious hatred. Well, I think what's happened is he's been made to go to church, but he's never had it explained to him. He's had to go to chapel in Wales. Colorado Springs, Leo says, Howdy, brother. Howdy, brother from Colorado Springs. Thank you for your time, Sir Scott. Good to see you. Shalom. Shalom, Real Anonymous. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. We're up for another six minutes, and then we will disappear. We are toast. Uh, fantastic. And I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. It's great that you've been with us. What a fantastic show this morning. Lovely, lovely random pop-up and a good bit of chat. There's oat milk. I had oat milk the other day. Very, very nice, I can tell you. So there we are. Thank you, Real Anonymous. Very, very good of you. Bank holiday. Yeah, it's a bank holiday vanilla. What that means is you get the Monday off and the days when the banks used to shut. Colbrandus says, me and the missus are tossing a coin between Rome and Greece this year, Scotty. You call it heads or tails. I could not be responsible for that. They're both outstanding places. One, of course, is in Italy and the other is in Greece. To all our Greeks watching this morning, we say Yasu and Calamera, Calamera. Our banks close on weekends, so do ours, Vanilla. But they have an extra day. They close on a Monday, and that was known as a bank holiday. And usually they put the schools off as well for a bank holiday. So it extends the weekend, and people can have bank holiday Monday. Maybe go to the seaside if you can afford it. But we're back to huge poverty because of the greed. Poverty versus greed. The greedies have taken all the money for themselves and left us all short. Uh, we haven't been on either. I'd love both. Unfortunately, my flexible friend will only allow one. Well, all roads lead to Rome, but I haven't suggested that. Ah, nice. There you are, Vanilla. Fantastic. Yes, so you get an extended weekend on a bank holiday. But I worked in a bank when I left school. I was a banker with a B, and, um, you know, it was it was absolutely incredible. And we used to shut for lunch, much to the chagrin 
of most customers. And we used to close at, uh, I think it was three o'clock in the afternoon. So our bank was open from nine till midday, closed from midday to one when everybody had their lunch, or from one till two, and then open for an hour in the afternoon till three. Then that was at Thursday night. They were open till 6 p.m., late opening. Uh, have you downloaded Truth Social? I haven't, Vanilla, no. Uh, where can I get one of the pins on your hat? Well, once you make me TikTok famous, we'll look at getting some merch on the go, and you can have one. There we have it there. Scotty McClure says, Dinky Doo. Can you see that the right way round? Or is it upside down? Do tell us. Uh, talking to American ladies, you can't believe how much annual leave we get in Britain. Yeah, but you should see Germany. The workers are treated so well in Germany. Do you know that uh, just before the First World War, even with recession in Germany, British workers weren't allowed to get off the cruise ships uh, in Hamburg in case they saw how well the German workers were treated? Yes, no, the British are not treated well at all. Uh, they're lucky to get a week off per year. Oh, wow. Hello from Glasgow. We love you in Glasgow, Terry. You weary is in Glasgow as well, didn't you do? Guys, have a look at the TikTok videos. I did one about uh, Celtic and Rangers scrapping the two teams and bringing in Glasgow United to put a stop to any kind of uh, fighting or any kind of uh, rivalry. I think that would be much better for Glasgow instead of these half-witted drunks throwing bottles and things. I'm learning about the war in school. Liam, which one? The Second World War? Yes, uh, $7.25 wage in the USA, federal wage. Yes, uh, that's, I think, a bit lower than the minimum wage in the UK at the moment. Uh, World War II, got you, Liam. Fantastic. Fascinating. All the stuff, you can never have too much knowledge, Liam. So you keep learning, my boy. Tremendous. Do they have a strong union contingency in Germany then, Scotty? I think they did call Brandist up until the Second World War. You know, and everything kind of fell apart. Morning, Scotty. Garbles boy, just changed my name. Noodles. No problem at all. Lovely to have you on, Noodles. And a big dinky do to you. I've got 1,400 likes, guys. Right, it's 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock TikTok, time McClue wasn't here. What a fabulous, fabulous pop-up. Love you guys so much. Get following Scotty McClue, get looking at the videos, and you'll see the YouTube channel, the URL, is on my TikTok bio. Give that a tap, subscribe, and tap the bell on YouTube. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Shane. Lovely to have you with us. My great-granddad served in World War II and died five years ago. God bless him in heaven. God bless him, bread. Low taxes, less government is best. Oh, absolutely, Vanilla. We could do with local government back and not govern Scotland. Could well do with uh, strengthening the Scottish government and going economically independent. Economically. Good day to you, sir. Breakfast time. Take care, my good man. Co Brandist. Have a lovely breakfast. And dinky do to every single one of you. Ta-ra, lass. <laughs>